Uh, in Newcastle County, two mothers are speaking out after their teen sons were injured by a Delaware state trooper last month. It's making national news mm -hmm. as an abuse of power, yeah. Thomas. There's a lot going on. This is an ongoing investigation. We should know the family's lawyers say what started as a prank ended in the boys' attacks. Mike and Karen. That is the body camera. It shows the incident involving trooper Dempsey Walters. This happened after a 15-year-old identified as Jaden allegedly pranked Walters' home, kicking on his door. Now, attorneys say Walters called for backup, then looked up the home of another teenager named Alfred, who he had an altercation with days before. They say he dragged the boy out of his home, causing injuries. They also say Walters then drove to another location where Jaden was detained, dropped his knee on the boy's neck and head, and punched him so hard in the back of a police vehicle that he broke his eye socket. Socket. Now, both mothers are speaking out alongside their attorneys. They're calling for accountability from Walters and the others involved. Jaden just went back to school last week, but he is still recovering from headaches, so he's in and out of the nurse's office daily. That officer came to my house with malicious intent. He came to harm my son and listened to him scream while I was 30 miles away, and I couldn't get to him and help him bother me a lot. Officials say Walters did turn off his body camera, but it was still recording the night of the incident. Right now, he's currently out on bail, Mike and Karen. He has been suspended pending that investigation. I would think so.